Hello and welcome to yet another cooking show for today. Today I will be making my favorite recipe, the cheesecake. Now my brother requested for a cheesecake that's not too high, so his wish is granted. Let us now prepare the ingredients that we will need for today's cheesecake. For the crust of our cheesecake, we will need one cup crushed gray ham crackers, two tablespoons of white sugar, and one fourth cup melted butter. For the cheesecake mixture, we will need 250 grams of cream cheese in room temperature, half a cup of white sugar, two regular sized eggs, half a cup of Nestle cream, juice from half a lemon, and one tablespoon of all-purpose flour. Of course, we will need our cheesecake pan. Mine is 10 inches in diameter, 4 inches high. And then we will need our hand mixer. A big mixing bowl, a spoon, some foil, a bigger pan for water bath, and lastly a spatula. We will start our cheesecake by first making the crust. Let us get our crushed Graham crackers and place it on our cheesecake pan. Then we will mix our white sugar. Make sure you mix them well together so that no sugar is sticking out when you eat the crust. Once that is mixed already thoroughly, we will then add our butter to the mixture. We will mix that well until our crust becomes moldy. When I say moldy, that means you should already be able to pat it up evenly like this with a spoon. You can also use the base of a glass so you can pat the crust evenly like so. Now when our crust is flat like this, we will now put it in the freezer to cool for a bit. Now while that's in the freezer, we will now do our cheesecake. Let us get our big mixing bowl and let's mix all the other ingredients together. Let's start with the cream cheese. Let's put the entire block of the cream cheese onto the mixing bowl. Then we will add our sugar. Let's plug in our hand mixer and let's mix them together. Make sure there are no lumps to the sugar. Don't forget to scrape off those that reach to the sides so that they all get incorporated in nicely. Then we will add our eggs one at a time. When the eggs are in, we will now add our Nestle cream. Then we will beat it again. Then we will add in our lemon juice all together with the all-purpose flour. Once that's all done, you can now unplug your hand mixer and set it aside. We will no longer need that. And then let's get your crust from the freezer and bring it out. We will then transfer the cheesecake mixture on top of the crust like so. Make sure the cream cheese mixture is evenly distributed onto the crust. You can hold the pan like this and pat it on the table. And then you may get your foil and then let's cut a portion of that to put on the bottom of the pan. Make sure you put it around the pan neatly and tight like so. And let us get the bigger pan for water bath and let us put our cheesecake pan like so. Let us get a pitcher of water and place the pitcher of water inside the water bath pan like so. 
Make sure to fill the bigger pan with at least one inch high of water. And then you can get a toothpick and let's burst out all the bubbles on the cheesecake. Okay, we will now put it in the oven for 400 degrees for 10 minutes, after which we will lower it down to 325 degrees for another 40 minutes. When it's done cooking, you may now turn off your oven, but leave the cheesecake inside for one more hour to cool down. When your cheesecake has cooled in the oven for an hour, you may bring it out. Now it is still a bit hot, so make sure to wear your mittens. The cheesecake should look like this. Now let's see if it's hot. Let's lift it out and bring out from the water bath. Let's throw out the water in the sink and then you can uh, discard the bigger pan, let it dry up. And then let us get another plate where we will be transferring our cheesecake. Let us remove it from the foil. Then let us remove the sides of the pan like so. Let us use a knife to so evenly remove the edges. There, it's all done. We will just need to cool it in the fridge for four to six hours before serving. Let's make sure to use the foil to cover it up before we put it in the fridge. Now after four to six hours, this is what it should look like inside. Notice that I've cut a big portion already. That's because my family ate it. You can choose to put toppings on your cheesecake or choose not to. In this case, I did it because we wanted to taste that flavorful, yummy cheesecake itself. And look how gorgeous that looks. If you notice, the crust is about half an inch in size and the cheesecake itself is about one inch high. Just the way my brother likes it. Just look at how beautiful that is. Well, I hope you enjoyed my cheesecake recipe. Till next time.